Struggles with body image. This is a video I've never done anything on and I've never even talked about my struggles with body image. My struggles with body image, I've never really truly struggled with any kind of eating disorders. If anything, I've, I've struggled more with overeating, but I have struggled a lot actually with body image. And for anybody that, that can't tell, there was easy things if you watch and, and look at some of my TikToks or videos, you could tell actually that I do. Um, and that's where people that are struggling with body image, you don't pick up on it very easily. And, and a lot of times we won't share about it. This is something I didn't think I would ever really share about. And I finally kind of built the courage up to do it. Hit the like and subscribe button if you never have. Uh, follow along. I mean, my channel is all about mental health, mental illness, suicide awareness, sobriety. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a counselor. My name is Eric. I deal with ADHD, PTSD, GAD, and MDD are my diagnoses. I self-harmed before. I lost a wife and a father to suicide. And I'm a recovering cocaine and alcoholic addict. My body image revolves around weight. And I struggle with it a lot. If you haven't ever noticed this sweatshirt, for example, this is a 2XL. And as you notice how low it goes on me and how baggy it is on me. If you notice, my pants are always scrunched up. They are. My jeans are too big for me. It's always been that way on purpose because of how I look at myself and perceive myself with body image. When I was in my addiction phase, I had gotten up to almost 300 pounds. Uh, I'm on actually a workout kick right now where I'm trying to get back down to the weights that I want to be. Uh, and that weight is 225. And the reason I have these numbers is because that's actually what I've used to help with my body image of knowing once I've hit that number of in my brain of what I actually do look like. Because in my brain and how I look at myself, it never changes. And it might be the case with a lot of people. I mean, people will be like, wow, did you lose some weight? And no, no, I don't think so. Because in my, my image of when I look at myself, I'm always fat. I always am. And it became the most scarred when I was using, I went on a trip with my wife to a wedding and I brought clothes with me that were always fit. They, these clothes always fit. It was a white button up collared dress shirt, black dress slacks. So we go to this wedding and I'm, I never really struggled with this at all until the night of the wedding. And I went to go put on the pants and I couldn't button the pants. I literally had to use the belt to keep the pants up and to like remotely close them. I couldn't button the top button of my shirt. So I hit it with my tie. So I'm literally like busting out of my clothes. And yes, I have an ego. I'm a guy a little bit. I was a little vain. And I'm like, I'm the fattest slob in the world. And that event sparked a ton in my head that I nonstop thought I was fat. I literally, after this vacation, came back and I bought new Dickies because that's a lot of the shorts I wear are Dickies. I bought new Dickies that were all one size too big because I never wanted to experience that again. And I became to having a lot of negative self-talk. It never progressed to the point where it was like, okay, I'm not going to eat. Um, I can't. I got to starve myself. It got to the point, though, where I just I hated my body. I hated seeing myself in the mirror. I didn't like sex. At that point, like I, I lost a lot of interest in sex because I didn't want to be seen naked. I lost a lot of interest in anything that it took to take my shirt off. I hated pictures of myself because I would look at myself and I was just so fat. And this is my negative self-talk. And, and I'm only sharing this because this is something that I, I struggle with in a sense. And I'm not trying to do this for any other reasons than just to share because I know so many people out there struggle with different body images. And it's not it's not easy to share about. And people be like, oh, you're not fat. And I, no, just shut, shut up. <laughs> just shut up because that's not what my brain is telling me. I, 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 have, I have very hard issues with right here around me. Um, I have white driven shirts. And I always feel like I have like a muffin top around me when I have the, the driven shirts. Uh, when I wear those white shirts. And that's why even more recently, like I became even more and more self-conscious of it here recently. That you don't see me wearing those white shirts quite as much as I was because... Well, I'm, I'm not feeling good about myself. Uh, I, I started really having this big, big complex of, my God, I've gained weight. And I was so afraid to step on the scale because I'm, I, I worked it out in my brain that I probably weighed 260 to 265, which to me was like the, the weight that I hit. Once I just quit drinking, I wasn't really working out. I'm like, that's why my clothes aren't fitting. That's why nothing's fitting. Nothing's fitting on me. Nothing's fitting on me. The pants don't look good on me. 
but I can't get other pants because what if I get those other pants and they don't fit? Like I, I can't take that rejection in my head because I know it will take me to the next level. If I go out and try on pants and they kind of fit at the store, but then like three days later they don't fit, it's going gonna, it's gonna to mess my head up. And I know that. So that's why I've always gotten the bigger pants. I mean, these, these pants right here, I mean, I'll give you an example. This is how big the pants are. I mean, yes, I have boxer briefs on, but I don't have to unbutton them literally to take them off. But to me, these, this is the size of pants that I should be wearing. That's, that's how my body image is. And, you know, I'm, I'm squinching them in and, and they, they gather up around the crotch and I don't care because the pants fit. It, that's where my brain goes with the body image. When I wear like sw uh, sweatshirts, I have extra large, and that's the size that I probably should wear. But I, this is a two XL because I wanted to sit down lower. I don't want I don't want to see this. I don't anything. And and then I look in pictures, and I'm like, shit, your clothes don't fit right. You're ugly, and it's a lot, a lot of negative self talk. The only thing that's actually brought me up to even want to start to talk about this is I do get a lot of people that hit me up with eating disorders. I've never had an eating disorders. I do skip a lot of meals sometimes, not necessarily on purpose which is actually worse when you're trying to lose weight is skipping those meals because your body thinks that you're starving. So it actually holds on to the fat more. It's, it's better to eat multiple meals, small meals throughout the whole day. That's what I always did when I wanted to gain muscle, lose weight and trim down, especially because I did play a lot of sports that those right there, your brain gets into that point though, where it doesn't really want to eat or like with me, I'll get too busy and I'll forget. And next thing you know, it's like three and I'm like, shit, it's almost dinner time. I just missed lunch again. So I've literally had to set up alarms to remind me to eat. What got me to the point of actually talking about this is one, when I do, I, I had some back pains and I felt that the back pains were from me being too over overweight. When I was at my peak to almost 300 pounds, I was right around 300 pounds, I, my feet hurt a lot more, my lower back hurt a lot more. So I go, you know what, I'm going to start working out. So Monday I, I go, you know what, I'm going to start working out. And yes, I work out in my garage. I, I, I do struggle with social anxiety. I do a lot of tension, um, um, resistance workouts, because I go for the toneness. I don't want to get bulked up or anything of that sort. But I do like to be really toned and, and, and fit. Um, I was proud of myself two years ago. I got down to 225. That was my ideal weight. I hit it. I, I, I didn't think I looked good actually, but I knew what I looked like. So I knew it was good. <laughs> I knew I looked good, but in my head, I was still fat, but I was able to self-talk myself over it because I, my brain works off of numbers of knowing that these are actually the numbers that I need to be. And this is what I look like when I am those numbers. And these are the clothes that I fit in when I am those numbers. That's literally the way that I've overcome my body image because in my head still, regardless, I look fat. So I ended up going, I'm going to start working out. So I, I did my workout Monday and my workout Monday, I go chest, back, shoulders, buys and tries, stomach, legs. Sunday only is a, is a walk day only. And then I also walk two and a half miles. So I did that Monday. So of course I'm feeling good. I woke up early, took my free workout, all jacked up. When I'm the lowest setting, of course, on my little tension thing where I'm like, dude, when you were all in shape, you weren't at this weight, you could, you could, you could do so much more. I got done with it though. I did my walk and I ended up eating breakfast and I'm like, you know, I need to start weighing myself. And I only weigh myself once a week because it drives me nuts if I'm weighing myself every day. So I prepare for the worst. I'm going to stand on my scale and I'm preparing for the worst. I stand on my scale and it said 248.2. And I went, what the fuck? Like, I thought I was a lot heavier than that. I'm like, okay. Because how my stepping stones, like, I literally have stepping stones. My my initial goal always is then to hit 250, was to hit 250. Then from 250 was to 235. So I'm only looking at it. And if you've seen some of my other videos out there, I've talked about my weight a little bit before. I'm only 13 pounds away from that. So once I hit that, I know I can fit a majority of all my clothes out there. I will actually start wearing different pants. I'll start wearing different shorts because I know that they're going to fit a little bit differently and they'll fit better. Um, and it makes me kind of feel good, even though I still think I'm fat. And I mean, that's, that's how the negative self-talk gets. I mean, I have this huge thing of, you know, I'm fat, I'm ugly, I'm not attractive. 
I don't know why anybody likes me. I mean, I can dissect my body worse than anybody else out there. And I know that a lot of people can relate to it. I mean, I have caterpillar eye, eyebrows. You know, I have a fucking divot in my head. And I own the shit. And I make fun of it. But I want to want to show you the vulnerable side that is the reality of it. Of, you know, I mean, I'm that guy who's sitting in front of the mirror going, why can I do this to my belly? I am fat. And then when people are like, oh, you're not fat. And I like dad bods and stuff like that. It's like, really? Like, that fucks with my head. So, even on my mirror, I'll put positive notes uh, that remind me, hey, you are beautiful. You are. Just because I need those positive notes. I need that positive reinforcement. I, I do affirmations because I need that positive reinforcement. And focus on that I am beautiful. That I am smart. That I am, you know, gorgeous. I am all that. And it's not out of vain. It's out of trying to keep my brain brainwashed from going to the negative side of going, dude, you're ugly. You're old. Look at all the gray hair you have. Look at how fat you are. Look at how how ugly you are, look at how overweight you are, look at how you have a horrible ass, you know? I mean, guys have that sense to them and we don't share about it a whole lot. And I know that women do too, tremendously. Um, because I've had a lot of women, I've never really had any guys reach out about it. I've had a lot of women though reach out about it for, for support. But the thing that I found that has helped me the most with it is knowing at least what these weights mean. So I, I my brain doesn't work off of what I see, it works off of that number. And that brings me a lot of comfort because I know what that number means. And the positive reinforcement just that I get from the notes and I get from everything and knowing that I'm working out, starting to feel better about myself. And there is a lot of truth that's to working out. It doesn't cure depression, it doesn't cure anxiety by any means, but it does help your head a lot. It's separating from your environment, you're feeling good, you've accomplished something, it makes you feel good, it makes you feel more alive. Uh, anybody struggling out there with body image, I, I will be doing more videos on this because it is something that I know a lot of people do struggle with, especially when we're going through depression. I mean, we find anything to beat ourselves up over and eating disorders are very, very common too. And a lot of people don't know how to talk about it. If you are struggling out there though, when it comes to any eating disorders, please ask for help to family and friends. Talk to a, a therapist, get with a therapist on it because there's usually underlying issues to it. Um, I, I mean, I shared about what my experience was that kind of really set the whole thing off for me. Hey, if you haven't hit the like and subscribe button, hit that like and subscribe button. I like to share experiences like this because I know that it makes others feel not as alone. Uh, down in the description box, I have links to all my different social medias. I have links to the mental health discord community. It's peer to peer support, bridging the gap between therapy and a crisis hotline of all the experiences, resources, and tools that we can share. I even have links down below to things on Amazon like fidget cubes and fidget spinners, things that I use to help me with my anxiety. I even have a link down below to better help if you want to try online therapy. It's trial and error to find out what works for you. And you have to remember that you're a BAMF. You're a badass motherfucker. You've made it through 100% of your worst days to make it through two today. And you got this. We got this together. So hit that like and subscribe button. Let's do this.